This is the bag. It's made from a good, strong, rain-resistant fabric and it's lined throughout. It has a lot of pockets, or rather a good selection of pockets. There's this one to the front with a small gusset. A pocket to the rear which is ideal for something like a phone. Nice and spacious. And here at the bottom is a very large pocket which is ideal for carrying something like wet towels, wet shoes, swimming gear, sports gear, gym gear. That's a large pocket that can occupy most of the bag, but that is its sort of piece de resistance. To look inside the bag, there's a zip pocket here, ideal for a purse or wallet. Two slip pockets, good for tickets or documents. And this is the lining of the, shall we call it, the water resistant pocket for the towels, shoes or gym gear. So I'll just fold that down to the bottom to give some idea of the capacity of the bag. Note access is good from the top because it opens fully and then it closes via the ruching by pulling the soft webbing which forms the drawstring for the top of the bag but also the shoulder straps. The shoulder straps are fully adjustable via these ladder lock buckles but you do have to be careful when adjusting the top to make sure that you don't get a loop within the shoulder straps because it's designed so the shoulder straps and the closing drawstring are all in one rather than being independent so if you don't get this closing quite right or pull a bit too much on one of these straps then you can end up with a large loop. Here I've got it fairly even, that's obviously a bit loose there, but it has taken several goes to get it to this stage. So it is something you need to be aware of and to make sure you close the top quite evenly. Obviously because it's a ruched drawstring it doesn't close fully, but for casual use that is more than fine. So that's the bag, good capacity, lightweight and durable but do watch out when using it and pulling the drawstrings to make sure you avoid that loop on the shoulder straps.